Jagger Design's objective is design leadership, and I really do feel that we are we are gaining ground in that very rapidly. When we set about the sport break, that design leadership, that objective had to stay. I know it's a very practical car. There's a, there's a amount of pragmatism in it. It is functional, but at the end of the day, it is what we call a sport break. It has to look sporty and feel sporty. We've designed it so it still looks like an exotic car. It's not a functional box. It's got elegance about it, it's got beautiful lines about it, and that was very much one of our objectives when we set about designing it. And I think we've achieved something actually quite unique in many ways. There are a lot of estate cars out there which have a sportiness about them, but I think we've achieved something which is even more sporty without compromising the practicality of the car. It was an interesting challenge for us because we wanted the car to be very practical and usable, whilst obviously having all of the aesthetic ingredients that make up a Jaguar and people know and understand and love about the XF. The XF Saloon has a striking presence and we wanted to retain those design cues. Now the estate car has, by necessity, a fairly high roof line, but because of the rising waistline it still gives the impression of this lovely tapering side window graphic, so the car still looks low and lean. And the fact that this graphic tapers down beautifully gives us a unique signature element for the XF Sport Brake. You've got this lovely drawn chrome loop that gives the car real length and elegance. It's about having lines which flow uninterrupted around the vehicle and lead your eye on a, an uninterrupted, exciting journey. The fact that they flow so easily gives the car elegance. If we start at the front of the car, we have this lovely crease line that runs from the corner of the front bumper, over the front wheel arch, through the front fender, and rises to the rear of the vehicle. It gives the car drama and a bit of a wedge attitude to it, so it feels like the car's got some movement to it even when it's standing still. I think the, the rear aspects of uh, XF Sport Brake is particularly strong. We use the graphics on the car, again, to accentuate the visual width. So we have this signature blade, which extends into the tail lamps and is visually gripped and supported by the tail lamps as well. So you've got a lovely, robust feel to it. And ultimately, these graphics point out to the rear wheel arch, which again is emphasising the muscularity of the car and those lovely broad shoulders from the rear view. And when we get to the back of the car, I wanted this, this profile to be so strong it's the only thing left at the back. You know, the roof was floating over the top of it. And that's why we blacked out the pillars to give that lovely floating roof towards the back and that, that curvaceous rear window which gives the car a lot of speed. This is going to be a usable car. So from a, from a packaging point of view, we looked at where our competition was, we saw what those vehicles were being used for, what customers might like to use a car like this for, and made sure that when you opened up the load space of an XF Sport Brake, you were getting at least the equivalent, if not better, than the competition. The thing for us was to do it in a very Jaguar way. All of those things that you would practically expect out of a, a, a sport break, we built in from day one. We have the aluminium rails in the floor space that allow you to configure ways of dividing up the luggage compartments. You could actually fit a divider across the back half of the trunk area, which then allows you to just have your shopping immediately by the tailgate. Another nice convenience feature uh, on XF Sport Brake is the remote releases to fold the seats down. Uh, again, rather than having to go and open the rear door or lean forward to the back of the seats, we've provisioned these handles here on both sides of the car that allow you to drop the seats forwards. There's also underfloor stowage and that's configurable. If you choose not to have a spare wheel, you can have a deeper uh, stowage area in there. Every derivative of the XF Sport Brake is fitted with self-leveling air suspension instead of the saloon's rear coil springs. 
so it offers the same dynamic attributes and abilities in terms of ride and handling as the saloon, no matter what it's carrying. Additionally, you can also specify the XF Sport brake with Jaguar's adaptive dynamic system. So, at the touch of a button, you alter the suspension and throttle calibration to deliver a more involving and sporty driving experience. I think this car is a perfect answer for many people. It's, it's a very balanced car visually. It does look quite sporty, and that's very deliberate. It is a Jaguar, but it's also very usable. I can imagine I'm going to get my bike in the back of this quite easily. And that's something I actually need in my life these days, is to actually carry stuff around. So I love the car, in fact, I'm sure I'm going to have one.